Hi everyone, today I'm going to try a travel experiment. I've often wondered what was the quickest way between Glasgow and London, whether by train or whether by plane. So today I'm going to do it. I'm going to race myself. The distance is around 345 miles or 555 kilometers, and I'm going to take you along. I'm going to be racing myself. Yes, I'm going to be racing myself. Team Blue on British Airways and Team Red will be traveling on Virgin West Coast. The challenge is to see who can get from the center of Glasgow here at George Square to the center of London, Trafalgar Square, the quickest. I've already worked this out on paper and believe it or not, it's exactly the same time whether you go by train or fly, five hours and 25 minutes. There's no cheating, but there will be a few tweaks along the way and I'll explain what they are shortly. So on paper it's a tie, but who do you think is going to win? Team Red on Virgin West Coast or Team Blue on British Airways? I'm racing myself so it will be a true competition and there will be no bias, but we do have stopwatches. So are you ready? We have a flight and a train to catch and you're coming along. Stopwatches ready? One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! My tweak will be to have seating at the front of the train so I can make a sharp exit at Euston Station. I don't want a couple of hundred passengers ahead of me slowing up my progress. My only tweak will be to pay for advanced seat selection on British Airways. That way I can get off the aircraft uh, quickly at Terminal 5 without having to wait for 10 minutes for everyone else to get off before me. I'll also be using the Heathrow Express between Terminal 5 and London Paddington. It's a lot quicker than using the Underground. Well, wouldn't you know it, I expected um, a Team Blue's flight to London to be delayed. In fact, it's my train that's been cancelled. I've been rebooked onto a train one hour later, but the stopwatch is still running, so that means Team Blue is actually going to win on this occasion. But as long as I get to London, that's the main thing. Another tweak I'm giving myself is the check-in time here at Glasgow Airport. The BA website says two hours for domestic check-in, but I believe an hour and a half is enough. For your 
your own safety, please hold on to the handrail when using the insulator if you have a large device. If you have a large device, I can't believe that team was cancelled. I really thought I was in with a chance of beating Team Blue today. Oh well. Ladies and gentlemen, first stop this service is Carlisle, where we're due to arrive at 11.47. Carlisle, our first stop. Thank you. Those customers just joining, a very warm welcome on board this British Airways flight to London Heathrow Terminal 5. To help us get to your on time, please ensure your handbag is safely put away. Cabin crew doors to automatic and cross check please. The air can be topped up by using this mouthpiece, and there is a whistle and light for attracting attention. Do not inflate your life jacket till you are outside the aircraft. Thank you, Captain Cruz. It's take off, please.
rear seats for landing, please. Four hours, 34 minutes, Team Blue.
Make sure you have all your luggage and belongings with you. And please mind the step down to the platform. Welcome on board Virgin Trains. We'll be travelling to London Euston. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, service just passing Wembley Stadium, we are now about 7 or 8 minutes from the destination point in London. I made it with a time of 6 hours and 16 minutes, which is pretty good going considering I was delayed by an hour in Glasgow. 5 hours 15 minutes if it had been on time and not cancelled, and I estimated it would take 5 hours 25, so that was pretty good going. Now which of these two journeys was more stressful, travelling by air or travelling by train? And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because it only encourages me to make more of these videos. Well, 4 hours and 34 minutes is a little quicker than the estimate of 5 hours 25. In actual fact, it was 100 minutes quicker than Team Red on Virgin Trains. Uh, that is partly down to the fact that the, the morning train was uh, cancelled. It would have been a 40 minute difference, uh, which is still substantial. But I've done some calculating here on a bit of paper. It was 100 minutes quicker, but it actually cost £80 more to travel by air. It cost £40 to travel by rail, it cost £120 to travel by plane, uh, which equates to, and I like this statistic, every five minutes you're paying an additional £4 just to arrive here early. Um, if it hadn't been for the delay this morning, a 40 minute difference, I think I would still travel by train because at least you get a rest and if you don't like the person next to you, you can go somewhere else. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Like he said, press the, uh, the like button uh, and uh, subscribe because it will only encourage me to do more. See you next time.